In this video, I will be showing you how to make planning in Excel. One of the most popular spreadsheet programs worldwide is Microsoft Excel. People of all ages utilized it in homes, offices, colleges, and schools. Excel is a crucial component of the majority of businesses for handling corporate data and creating progress reports. An important first step in starting a new project is creating a workable project plan. A project plan outlines all the information and procedures required for its successful completion. Before starting a new project, it is essential to spend time drafting a project plan because insufficient project planning is frequently recognized as a major factor in project failure. Microsoft Excel can be used by project managers to visualize plan and track their small to medium-sized projects. They need an Excel project tracker, an easy-to-use spreadsheet for project management, or even something more complex like an Excel project management dashboard. So as you can see here, I am creating or making a project plan for my home renovation. The name is Project 101. So all you have to do is to go to Microsoft Excel and then type Type project 101, type project duration, project start date, project end date. So here project 101, all you have to do is to type your plans. For example, we have here dining room renovation. You can also include kitchen renovation, um, bedroom renovation. So you can just put everything here. And, and then project duration means the length of a project, excluding holidays and non-working days, of course, is the time that must be invested based on the effort and the resources available. The amount of time that has passed is determined using the calendar, which includes working and non-working days. Then below, you can type task ID, and then under project 101, or under the names, you can put their task description. And then under project duration, you can type Task duration under project start date, you can type start date. Under project end date, you can type end date. And you can just color it differently so that it would be easy for you to identify. And then here you can type numbers. Everything is up to you. You can type from 1 to 10, something like that. You can change colors and you can fill in colors here. So it would be easy for you to see this. Now you can also go to go to borders and tap all borders so that you can see this um, i mean the lines are visible then earlier and then change the colors if you want and then after that you can start typing test description for example first we have here is renovation okay and then number two we have install new tiles Number three, let's just say we have here reroute current plumbing. And then number four, uh, let's just say for number four, we have here paint, walls, and ceiling. And then number five, we have here install new baseboards. So all I have to do is to tap this one. Install new baseboards or install baseboards. And then number six, we can put here, for example, install fixtures. Number seven, place new appliances. Number eight, install new cabinetry. And then number nine, we have here install new lighting. And for the last one, we have here number 10 is the final delivery with customer. So now that your test description is complete, actually, you can just type whatever you want. This is just for me. I mean, a sample for my test description for my Project 101. Now for the test duration, let's just say how many days are you going to finish this one? Let's just say for renovation, it would take four days. For number two, two days. For reroute current plumbing, two. For number four, two days. Install baseboard. Install fixtures, place new appliances, install new cabinetry. We have here 11311. So these are just tentative, but let's just say this is an example for test duration. And then for start date, all you have to do is to uh, type here the start date 
of your renovation. So for me, I type April 21, 2023, and for end date, you can just do this formula equals date, start date, and plus task or plus duration equals to, of course, the end date. So let's just say April 21, of course, it will finish after four days. So we have April 25. Then you can type or follow the formula for the rest. So this is it. Now, and yeah, you can do it manually or you can just follow what I did earlier. So this is what it looks like after you finish the start date and end date. Of course, like what I've said, the end date is equals to start date plus duration. So you can just add anything here. Everything is up to you. Like what I have said, the following components make up a project plan. You should have a fixed goals, objectives, deadlines, activities, deliverables, resources, necessary skills, and of course, team members. These are all significant project components that must be planned for. Now, despite being the name of a document, Project 101, it also describes every aspect of a project, including the, of course, the first one here is the project name, task duration, start date, end date. These are very essential. Okay, so now what I am making right now is just to add something for my project. I mean, you can just be creative if you want to so that it would be easy for you to read or know your project. I mean, it's very important that you master Microsoft Excel so that it would be easy for you to edit or do such things for your project. So of course, we have three basic categories of templates. So if you want to focus on, I should say, if you want to focus on your template or tools then you can add specific tools here that you needed for your project if you want to focus on the schedule then you can be specific with your schedule here uh the time the date something like that if you want to focus on your members here i mean the the budget for that then you can add it here so here the chart that i'm making right now is for you to edit like if you want to add something like list of tasks if you want to add project budget if you want to add the progress of your project if you want to add some findings and comments and whatsoever so it's just i created a table or a date from april 21 up to may 17 so that any goals objectives and decisions and other things within this given time and day it would be easy for you to edit or edit here as easy as that and it will just appear here and now there are some formulas if you want to do this and that if you're an expert of you know um, microsoft excel then you can just play it around here everything is up to you this is just a simple idea on how to make a project plan using microsoft excel um, it's just a reminder that it's the best tool for you to have your plans or have your project plan. It's the best template so far. So that's it. And yeah, that's just the basic way on how to make planning in Excel. Thank you for watching and see you again in our next video tutorials.